Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another gel nail design. My friend asked me to do her nails and I did it. So I'm going to explain you step by step what are we doing. So first we are removing the cuticles and pushing them back. And we are scraping away those dead skin cells. The preparation of the nail plate is the most important when you are doing your nails to prevent lifting. So be careful with that step. It takes time, but it will be a good thing. She didn't want any extra length on her nails, so we are doing this overlay over her natural nails. And as you can see, the next step is just to make sure that it's the right shape of the nail and we are going to buff the nail plate with a nail buffer just to remove the shine and make sure that it's not shiny so that the gel can stick to the nail plate. As I am doing my nails for so many years, I can convince you that the nail preparation is the most important step. I've experienced some heavy liftings over the so many years and I just couldn't figure it out. And now that I am older and that I self-taught myself through the YouTube videos, I can tell you that as I'm prepping my nails correctly, I experienced zero liftings. And also the products that I am using are also important. Now I'm spraying the nails with some alcohol just to remove excess dirt from the nail and I'm ready for the primer and the super bond application. I bought these products from my local nail store and I know that they are good so I am telling you to invest in some good primers and super bonds. As the primer is an acid based, you just need to put one little dot on the center of the nail and watch it spread. Uh, I forgot to record this part and you can see the super bond I'm applying all over the nail, but I'm letting those two steps dry around two minutes in between. Now I'm applying the thin layer of the UV gel. This is the base and it's going to make sure that the adhesion before the next layer is better. And I'm curing it in the UV light for 60 seconds. And I'm doing it for the all nails and curing it in between. And then we are adding a color. Color is from Vena Lisa and the number is 1590. And we will be adding three layers for the each nail because it's a little bit on the runnier side. So we need to make sure that the color is opaque. While the gel is still sticky from the UV lamp, we are applying the nail foil just to the ring fingers to make it more fun and more interesting. Now we decided to do some stamping and I'm going to use the Nicole Diary stamping plates. I think the number is 002. I'm going to be showing you next. First I'm spraying it with some alcohol to make sure that it's clean and I can tell you I had a lot of problems with this stamping plate. Every time I picked up the image, image was blurry even on the stamper. As I put it on a nail, you will see I wiped it off. It just, I don't know what's going on with that plate. If anyone else is having the same problem, I think the problem is maybe it's not good engravings, but 
I'm not here to judge. And now it's time to wipe the image off because it's no good. And we are going to be using the Your Sugar plate. We want to do some doggy, and I'm going to do a little Frenchie on her nail. As you can see, when I am putting this pic picture on a stamper and on a nail, the picture came out to be perfect. So I don't think it's the stamping gel. I think it's more of the image on that other plate, but this one is perfect. We also wanted some unicorns, so we are using Nicole Diary 061 plate. And now she is choosing what type of unicorn she wants. And we are also putting it on a nail. And we are going to add some stars above just to make it more fun. My stamping plate collection is so big right now. Like, I want to record a video just to show you what type of plates do I have. So, please comment down below if you want to see that video. And if you have any questions, you can just comment down below. Or if you want links for the stamping uh, plates or stamping gel or something else, just make sure to comment down below. I love working with stamping gels because you have actually a lot of time because you need to cure it in the UV light for 60 seconds. So it gives you just room to make it work. And if it's bad, you just wipe it off and do it again. And now I am wiping around the nail, just the excess gel, and we are putting it appearing in the UV light for 60 seconds. We had so much time recording this because we were laughing so hard because we had no clue what are we doing. Like this was our first time just recording this like whole process and it was just a lot of fun. And now as you can see we are building the structure and this takes time and it takes a lot of practice like I am doing a different techniques and she didn't want to have um, such a thick nail so I am doing just a little bit over overlay and I am doing the string technique and just making sure in between that the, the nail is looking good like you need to look at the different angles and also what I like to do is when I'm applying the gel and I'm making sure that everything is good, I flip the hand and do it for 10 or 50 seconds just to make sure that the gel is self-leveling and then cure it in the UV light for 60 seconds. I'm doing a pinky finger. You can see that every time that I feel like it needed a little bit more of gel on certain spots, I'm reaching for the gel and I'm just putting it on and making sure that everything looks perfect. Next time I will be showing you how I do my own nails. Like, I'm so professional. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Like... I can do my non-dominant hand like in no time. Like I got used to it and now it's so easy. But at first when I was starting, it was so difficult. But you just need to practice, practice and you will feel the success. Now that I made everything work and it's looking so good, I am using a toothpick, or you can use a rosewood stick. I think that it's, it's the same thing, but it's a little bit on the thicker side. But I like to use a toothpick because it's so thin. And you will clean up around cuticles to 
make sure that it's not on the cuticle just to prevent lifting because if it touches the sidewall it will lift. Now I'm going to be spraying the nails with some alcohol just to remove the sticky layer and to prepare for, for filing and shaping the nail. And as I am professional right now, I did it all out of the frame because I am so professional, I'm telling you, it's not even a joke. And now we are starting to file out of the frame. So I think that you need to imagine this part being done. Also, after filing, we are going to buff lightly the nail surface just to make sure that there is no bumps or something else before the top coat. And uh, we are going to add a little bit of the rhinestones just on one finger on one hand and I didn't record the application because my battery was so low and it was going to die so I have just a clip where I'm showing you how it looked on the end. And this is basically it. We put it some top coat and cured it in a UV lamp for 10 minutes. I hope you like the final result. And before you leave, make sure to thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon at the next one. I'm sending you big kisses. Bye now.